Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 10th and 11th for my Aries. Hello my Aries. Happy birthday. Hope all is just, I hope you're having a great birthday season. Okay, short reading. So I just used my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy, and this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? So a couple more times to shuffle for my Aries. And remember, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I need to say that more often. You know I don't, and my grandson will tell me, he'll, Grandma, so <laughs> you need to say that, so I've said it. Okay, we're going to cut the deck and see what my wonderful Aries are having. Okay, Aries, I'm feeling such strength coming from you, such purpose, such strength of pur purpose. How's that? It's like you, it's like all of these pieces are finally coming back to you and you're, you're putting them back in and you're becoming the person that you wanted. It's like you're... Um, it's like the sadness is lifting. It's like the, um, it's like there's a new dawn. Okay, let's see what we have here. First card, these are all three face down. First card is the nine of water. Oh, I love this for you. So you're having birthday wishes. Remember, water is our Cancer Scorpio and our Pisces energy. It's our emotional energy. And it's saying your wish comes true. Concerns fade away, a love of life. It's you know, like I said, it's like it's a new dawn. New dawn is breaking for you. Okay, and I love this. I mean, I, how what else can I say about it except that these, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, and I think this is going to take you through to the end of your birthday season. And if not, you know, if not beyond, it's like, you know, it's it's this it's this renewal of life. Okay, well, it's a love of life. <laughs> so here we go, second card strength archangel ariel okay so archangel energy and i'm feeling too that in order for this to keep going you know like i said i feel like these pieces are coming back you're pulling them back and you're becoming you again I, and not that you weren't you but you know what i'm saying it's like you're feeling your vim and vigor um you know and you're you know it's but it's like you have to now in some ways you have to block off you know, you know, I'm into the like positive and negative. It's like you have to find the strength to block off the negative leeching and the energy leechers. Okay, because I feel like you've had a lot of them in your life, and it's almost like they just would plug right into you and just take your, you know, like you were their battery and you just fed them the energy. And now you're unplugging that. You're unplugging that. So great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. So as you are getting rid of those energy leeches, feel, you know, you have to know that, you know, you know, it, it's like you look at them and you're saying, you know, yes, you, you know, you're not, you're not looking at them with anger. You're actually looking at it with them with compassion. And it's like, wow, I, you know, it's really hard to be you, but I'm sorry. I can't let you, I can't continue to feed you anymore. Okay. I can't keep giving you my energy. So this is that type of energy for Wednesday, Thursday. This seems a little bit longer type of reading, but, you know, and you find the strength to be able to say that. Okay, let's see. This last card is reversed. Let's see what this one says. The five of water. Oh, so as you're doing this, again, emotions, as you're doing this, it hurts. It hurts to tell whoever, whoever or whatever it is, because this could be a job too. This could be a job that's just been draining you. It's hard. It's hard. It's change. It's not something that, you know, that you've been doing. It's not something that you're used to doing, but it's something that you have to do. But it hurts you to do it. But that's okay. You know, well, it's not okay that it hurts you, but you still have to do it. You still have to do it. Otherwise, you're going to have their plug. You know, that plug is going to be into your, into your battery. Okay. So this is things not turning out the way you'd hope, not seeing the positive in a situation, crying over spilled milk. And it's basically, this is an emotional change. It's emotional, you know, this is why I think you had the strength card because 
in order to continue to do that, in order for you to, it's almost like you have to break free, but you do so with such compassion and love, um, you know, but again, you have to take care of you, okay? I, you do, you do. So this is what that energy is like, but in the end of it all, again, give that person, situation, family, job, give that to your divine, to your higher power, spirit guides, guardian angels, and, but it's like, not your job, not your job, okay? Because, and you know, and remember, the nine of water is saying, your wish will come, your wishes are coming true, your wish comes true, concerns fade away, a love of life, and even though whatever this is, this breaking, this severing hurts, it has to be done, it, it really does, in order for you to stop draining your energy, Okay, I hope that that gets to, who, well, it, it will, because I know that whenever it's kind of a little bit on that weird side, it gets to the right people. So, but my Aries, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.